Yep, that's pretty nasty. That's about as bad as it gets. So this video is about telescope mirror cleaning, specifically Newtonian parabolics. This is just a small 114 millimeter mirror. If you're using a larger one, it may not fit in your sink, and that's the method I'm using here. You might need a special container for that. But thoroughly clean and inspect your sink. Make sure there's no particulates floating around especially. Do that prior to uh, setting your mirror in there. You're going to need a few things. I use all natural cotton balls, the kind you find in the infant section. Make sure they're 100% natural. They won't scratch the mirror. I like to use gloves. This mixture is 70% distilled water and 30% rubbing alcohol. Typically I use Dawn as a detergent, but gain will work. That's what I have available at the moment. I usually take the mirror out of the cell, but in this case I don't really particularly feel like it. So you notice I'm setting it on a drain mat, like a dish draining mat simply because it fit in the sink well and it'll prevent the mirror from banging into the edges. And first you start out with a little rinse, keep it about a foot or two away. Don't rub it with your hands. You'll see guys recommend that. That is so barbaric. If you have any particulates, especially uh, dirt and even dust, it can have silicate in it and stuff like that and even though you can't see it or whatnot you can pull that across the surface of a glass surface and scratch it that's the truth don't use your fingers i don't care how gentle you are so i give a little squirt of soap here and by the way these cotton balls are cheap they're usually under two dollars what you want to do is just dampen one and lightly pull it across the surface, real gentle, throw it away, repeat. Like I said, they're cheap and you're not going to do this often. You're not going to need to clean your telescope mirror but maybe once every two years, once a year if you live on a beach or something like that, you know. If dust isn't really going to affect your imaging so much but eventually crud may build up on the mirror in which case you're forced to do this but like I said just take one dampen it lightly pull it across the surface throw it away repeat occasionally give it a good rinse this is the method that I use with every telescope mirror I've owned everything from a small four inch to a 10 inch parabolic. Same method. Don't drag your fingers across it. Dampen a cotton ball, wipe it across, toss it. If it seems like you need more soap, give it another squirt, rinse, repeat. Really boring process, but one that you don't wanna be barbaric with. Don't drag your fingers on it. Don't put any force on it. Be real gentle. You get any floaters like that, make sure to get it out of the water, throw it away. I like to put mine in a dish draining rack. And that's what it's designed to do. Oh, there's Bruce Lee, check him out. The man himself, the legend. Dragon. So now I'm going to take my mixture of distilled water and alcohol, pour it over the surface. Might give it a little turn here, rinse it again. I'm being real liberal with mine. And then it's just a waiting game, and it takes forever for it to dry. But the mixture that we're using with the distilled water and the rubbing alcohol will prevent water spots from forming. And 
and that's the reason that you use that chemical rather than just regular tap water. Tap water has minerals in it that will create water spots on the surface of your glass. So you definitely don't want that. Walk away, go find something else to do as difficult as that is. Don't even look at it or think about it. Just come back later, check it out. And that's pretty much the basics of it. I've seen videos that I didn't like, guys using their fingers, and they're still, and I, I've had arguments with them too, but you should never put your fingers on the surface of an optical mirror, ever, period, never. Not a camera lens, not a telescope, don't touch it. So what seems like ages of time passing finally goes by and now you have a perfectly clean optical surface. In case you haven't seen it yet, I did a collaboration video with the astrophotographer Jeff Lucas. There'll be a link that'll take you directly to that video if you're interested at the end of this one. A little bit of comedy, hopefully it was accepted well and you guys enjoyed it. But we're trying to make it informative also, that was the first run. We've also got some more stuff planned for the future. So one of those videos is going to be about upgrading Jeff's Nexstar 6 slash 8SE mount. And anybody that owns one of these is likely going to be real interested in this. I've got personally some Optolong filters coming, some new vintage lenses, and some other topics like histogram and that sort of thing. But we have a feeling it's going to be a real successful collaboration. There'll be more videos in the future. We appreciate all you guys. Thank you for all your support. That's what it's all about. And as always, I hope you guys have clear skies.